Hey, what's up guys? This is Alan with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be showing you the basics of installing a backup camera in your car. So this is actually relatively pretty easy. Every car is a little bit different, but we've broken it down into four steps. So step one, um, prepare and gain access to the vehicle. Um, step two is uh, mount the camera, run the cables, make your connections. Step three is test it because obviously we want to make sure that the camera is working before we put it back together. Uh, and of course, step four is reassemble. So to start, we wanted to show you how this works on a bench. We're using this Boyo uh, full frame uh, backup camera, which is really cool. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at their products, they make a whole really good line of backup cameras and they have a lot of options. This particular one has multiple views, which is really cool. Um, some of the newer cars uh, that come factory have this, so it's really cool to see them integrating uh, some of these features into aftermarket um, backup cameras that you know us as consumers can get for uh, cars that weren't equipped with it. Um, but let's start with the uh, installation. So obviously you got to mount the, uh, the frame. Um, it's really cool they come with grommets because in some cases you may have to drill a hole to run this wire through so that way it's sealed. Um, this just pretty much plugs in here. They give you a really long cable because basically this cable needs to go from the back of the car all the way up to the front to the radio. So that would plug in here. Now I'm going to show you the connections on the back. They're actually really easy. The two you really need to pay attention to, which are the most important, is the power for the camera and the video output from the camera that would plug into the video input of your unit. So this pretty much would plug in right here. You'd get your power and ground right off the radio. Um, and as a bonus, because this camera has some really cool features, it's got a little controller that you can plug in and mount up front to control all those really cool views uh, that this camera offers. Um, I wanted to go over a couple different installation types. Um, now, we said this is the most important is obviously having power. This particular unit offers the ability to view the camera well in motion. So on, th on this particular um, unit, we'd want to just hook up the red and black to power and ground off the radio so the camera would be on when you turn the key on. Now you need the reverse trigger. The reverse trigger in most cases um, can be found behind the radio, at the tail light, uh, at the reverse lamp in the back or some adapters when you install an aftermarket radio will actually have the reverse trigger right there as well. So that's something you'll want to remember because you'll need to get that up to, to the radio. Um, other than that, for the most part, let's uh, go ahead and walk over to the car and let's show you uh, how this camera works. All right, so we're pretty much going to explain this from the back of the car to the front of the car. So this is the uh, Boyo uh, bar type camera uh, that's already installed in this vehicle. As you can see here, it uh, just bolts uh, directly to the plate or over an existing frame, which is really cool. So if you have a custom frame, you still can keep that intact. Uh, but basically the idea is to drill a small hole um, behind the plate, get the wire through, which obviously we talked about earlier with those grommets, so that seals that off. You're gonna need to remove a panel like this to get that wire coming down and running through next to or into the factory loom of the uh, vehicle. And of course that wire needs to go forward. So. Pretty much step one, like we talked about, is plan and preparing your install. So obviously that particular camera goes there. Some cameras might go down here on the bumper. Um, just kind of knowing what you need to do for your install. Um, so that's why it might you know, be a good idea to do a little bit of research before you start the project. Um, and part of that's gonna be disassembly for, um, for step one. So after you've kind of prepared and planned out your install, step two is obviously going to be running the cable. So we kind of already ran that down here. The cable would run down the vehicle, down the side. You can get that cable kind of going right through up here, past the kick panel, up into the dash and up into the radio that you can see there. And that's where we made those same exact connections that we talked about um, on the bench there. So that pretty much takes care of step one and step two. Now, of course, before you put the vehicle back together, we want to do step three, which is test the camera. And that's when you can make any adjustments before you put the vehicle back together. So we're going to fire this up so we can show you the camera and then uh, we'll go through the rest of the steps. Now that we've ran all our cables, mounted the camera and made our connections uh, in the back of the radio. It's uh, a good time to test the camera and also um, set any particular settings that the camera may offer. Now, Boyo actually offers some pretty cool uh, features in their camera. They actually have a couple LEDs uh, on the bar cam that when you put it in reverse, they light up. So like in a really dark parking lot, it might light up the area a little bit more. They also offer uh, reverse imaging. So you can use this same camera 
for a front camera or a rear camera. And then a lot of their cameras have the guidelines which you can use or you can actually turn them off if, if you don't actually feel that they're needed for your particular application. So let's go ahead and put this in reverse and show you that. So you can see I just put it in reverse and um, you can see it's got a really clean, uh, crisp picture. Uh, it's got the really cool little guidelines right on the display. Those were the guidelines that I was referring to that you can actually turn off or on. Um, and you actually can hit a little switch and flip the image if you want it the other way and use it for a front camera. So pretty sweet. Obviously the camera works. All the connections are, are done properly. So at this point in the install, after you've made uh, all your uh, connections and tested it and uh, tested uh, what features you want in the camera, then I would suggest go ahead and reassembling the vehicle and then you're done. It's that easy. It's really simple. Obviously every car is a little bit different so we can't sit here and show you every single car, but the basics of it is get the camera mounted, get that cable forward, make your connections, and uh, test it, put it back together, you're done. So if you're in need of a backup camera, I would highly suggest you take a look at the Boyo line. As you can see, here's a few other examples of their products. Um, on the car behind us, you saw earlier, we used their black finish backup camera. Here's their chrome. Almost all their cameras come in both finishes and completely different features. So just definitely look at what you need and choose based off that. They also have some really cool pre-packaged kits. So if you don't have an aftermarket radio or a standalone screen, they have a kit like this. It has a replacement rear view mirror, comes with a camera, and backup sensors that all tie into one kit. So I would definitely look at the cameras. They're great, you can have one. It's really simple as that. I'm Alan with Sonic Electronics. Thank you for watching.